I just want to close by asking you and getting your thoughts on America's place in the world and American leadership. Uh, I was just in Israel. People are talking about America withdrawing I'm not from the world. I'm not saying I agree with that, but you hear that. I heard another panel this morning. Other people hear the same thing in, in other countries. Sure. Do you think the United States is withdrawing? No. First of all, let me just say that I was on a conference the other day in London that was marking an anniversary having to do with Maggie Thatcher. And the title of our panel was, the, the question was, after America, what? And I said, after America, North America, uh, for all the reasons in this, this thesis behind that we are on the threshold of the North American decades. And so not the Chinese century just yet. That may come, uh, although China faces a very pivotal moment in time, a huge number of challenges. Its entire you know, economic model for growth is, is under challenge. Uh, very good leadership, though, and they're moving along. But the, what we, the opportunities that we have in the United States are extraordinary, especially together with Canada and with Mexico that is now poised uh, on the threshold of its own energy revolution. We're leading the world in uh, the energy revolution, the IT revolution, life sciences revolution, manufacturing revolution. And if we can deal with some of the issues that Washington has not been able to come to grips with, immigration reform, education, infrastructure, debt to GDP, and so forth, uh, the future is exceedingly bright. So with that as a foundation, uh, I'm not a declinist, as they say. Now, I get the same questions you do, uh, and I think it is somewhat understandable when you've been through two long, costly, frustrating wars, as we have, I think it's somewhat understandable that folks take really hard looks uh, at issues uh, before you embark on new endeavors. Uh, having said that, uh, I know that I've taken this president very tough calls if, at, at, when I was a commander of Central Command, when I was commander in Afghanistan, and, and when I was at the CIA. Didn't always accept my recommendation, but a huge amount of the time uh, backed what we sought to do. And again, these were not easy uh, actions. Some of them, of course, have come out publicly. And going after Osama bin Laden uh, was a particularly gutsy call, g given as how his own Secretary of Defense advised against it. Uh, so I'm not one who thinks that we're just shirking or, or, or something like that. And you have to keep in mind, there's a ton of countries out there that would like America to walk point for it everywhere around the world, and we need to be a little selective in that. Having said that, there have been some moments where we've had some sort of circuitous routes uh, in some of the different uh, issues that are out there. Getting the chemical weapons out of Syria was a, a great achievement, actually. Uh, it was somewhat meandering to get there. Uh, but again, having said that, um, I, I'm not so sure I completely buy it. I think it's a much more nuanced answer. I think you look at the prudence and, and say with Ukraine, that has worked reasonably well. With Afghanistan, actually, you know, we achieved what we set out to in the surge. We're still achieving the overall objective there, which is to ensure that Afghanistan is never again a sanctuary for Al Qaeda the way it was when the 9 11 attacks were planned there. And if we continue to assist them in, in, in a, a reasonable way, I think that that goal actually is attainable. Uh, I think they can move this forward. We've got to pick a president. They have some near-term challenges in that regard uh, with accusations of fraud in the latest election. But I think they'll work through that. Uh, and I think that they can continue to, to, to progress and, and hold their own. So again, I think it's, this is a more complex uh, answer, I think, and a, and a much more nuanced uh, answer is what's deserved here, and I just don't buy the flat-out uh, criticism, I guess, uh, that we are shrinking from the world. Um, in fact, I think if we can get some of these, really capitalize on these great opportunities uh, where we are going to lead the world in, in energy production, uh, where we're going to chart the course for the world in, in some of these other areas of revolution and do this in partnership with two other countries that generally share the same values, systems, ideals, uh, in a 500 million person market nearly, uh, that again, the prospects are very, very bright for our country. All right. Well, General, thank you so much. Thank you very much.